and Stan Van Gundy going over the few pregame X's and O's with the team. And we're getting going here with game six of this year's NBA Finals. With Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. The NBA postseason could end tonight. A champion could be crowned. We'll see the Charlotte Bobcats facing the Memphis Grizzlies. As you look at Memphis, they are in right now a very tight spot, trailing by a game, but with the rest of the series playing out on their home court, can their fans will them to a win? Kevin, this is a must-win game for these guys. They've got to bring their best ball game to the court tonight. And with the fans there cheering and hoping that they can get it done, that might be enough to get them through some of the tough spots during this ball game. So the Bobcats starting five. We've got Maggetti and Okafor. And for the Grizzlies, Randolph and Gasol together inside. Helen Elliott is out there with Conley and Gale. Trailing by 10. Knocks it loose. That'll do it for the first half. It's the Bobcats up by 10. doesn't get any bigger than the NBA Finals, and we got Game 6 here on HP at the Half. Charlotte up on top against the Grizzlies at FedEx Forum. They jumped out and are just in total control with one more win to take the NBA title. Corey Maggetti making a big contribution. Lighten up that scoreboard, he's making it ring like a pinball machine. And for Memphis, they've really been battling. They've played Gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. A terrific first half for Rudy Gay. He's been rolling recently, and he's continuing his excellent play in this one. All the action's been going in one direction, but these two have been carrying the load so far. Thanks so much for joining us. Now let's get you back to your game with Kevin Clark and Doris. We hope to see you next time. Fourth quarter getting going here. It's time for our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Let's go to Doris Burke. Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Bobcats with the Spark Award for the stretch they put together. Their commitment to stifling defense has been a focal point as they continue to build on this lead, guys. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. No good. You know, he can sink it from out there. It didn't happen that time, but at least it's in the back of the defense's mind that he will let it fly from there. And they've done it for new NBA champions. This team never lost their desire all year, and that desire pushed them through the regular season, the postseason, and has now helped them earn the title of NBA champion. Boy, it's got to be tough on the home crowd to see their team's championship dreams crushed with these guys. Clark, these guys had a great year and managed to get it done in do-or-die situations throughout the postseason. You know what, Kevin? The results really speak for themselves. And after a long season, they can now relax and enjoy the moment. That's right, but not for too long, Clark. They can't celebrate too much because soon they'll have to start preparing for how to repeat next season. I hope they enjoy it for a while anyway. And that's it. We have ourselves a champion. It's been a long journey, but what a great ride through the NBA Finals. So for Clark Kellogg and Dorsey and everyone at 2K Sports, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next season.